All right, lads, so today we're going to be doing our Venezuela squad builder. As you can see on screen, we're using a 4-3-3 version 4 formation. But before we do start, please leave a like if you do enjoy the video, and please subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. We try to do the most in-depth FIFA videos on YouTube. So let's go. Starting in there, we have Danny Hernandez. He stands six foot five tall. He's got a three-star weak foot and a one-star skill. Now his standout stats are his 80 kicking, 78 handling and 74 positioning. Moving into our defence, at left back we have Perozo, who obviously is a centre back but we're playing him out of position at left back. 6 foot tall, medium medium work rates, 2 star weak foot and 2 star skills. Looking at his in games, his standout stats are his 82 jumping, 76 aggression, 76 strength, 76 sprint speed and 75 stamina. Now our first centre back is Amori Bieta, he's 6 foot 4 tall, he's got medium high work rates, a 3 star weak foot and 2 star skills. Looking at his in-game stats, his standouts are his 89 strength, 85 aggression, 77 slide tackle, 75 stand tackle and 74 heading accuracy. Now his centre-back partner is Viz Carondo, he's 6 foot 4 tall, got medium high work rates, a 3 star weak foot and 2 star skills. And his in-games, his standouts are his 93 strength, 85 aggression, 85 interceptions, 78 heading accuracy and 75 stand tackle. And rounding off the defence, at right back we have Inform Rosales, he's 5 foot 9 tall, high medium work rates, a 3 star weak foot and 3 star skills. Looking at his in games, his standouts are his 90 stamina, 87 agility, 80 slide tackle, 80 balance and 79 sprint speed. Now moving up into midfield, our first centre midfield is Signorelli, he's 5 foot 10 tall, medium low work rates, a 2 star weak foot and 2 star skills. Looking at his in-games, his standouts are his 75 aggression, 73 short pass, 72 stamina, 69 long pass and 68 sprint speed. Now his centre midfield partner is Tomas Rincon, he's 5 foot 9 tall, so medium high work rates, a 3 star weak foot and 2 star skills. Looking at his in-games, his standouts are his 91 jumping, 86 aggression, 78 stamina, 78 balance and 75 stand tackle. And rounding off midfield at Cam, we have Inform Wanarango. He's 5 foot 11 tall, medium low work rates. He's got 3 star weak foot and 3 star skills. Now, looking at his in games, his standouts are his 93 long shot, 93 free kick accuracy, 89 shot power, 89 penalties, and 88 curve. Now moving on to our forwards, at left wing we have Martinez, he's 5 foot 8 tall, high medium work rate, he's got 3 star weak foot and 3 star skills. Looking at his in games, his standouts are his 88 acceleration, 88 sprint speed, 82 balance, 77 ball control and 76 dribbling. And on the right side, at right wing we have inform Mario Rondon, he's 6 foot tall, he's got high low work rates, a 3 star weak foot and 3 star skills. Looking at his in games, his standouts are his 87 jumping, 83 attack positioning, 81 finishing, 81 shot power and 81 reactions as well. And rounding off our team, at striker, we have second in form, Solomon Rondon. He's 6 foot 2 tall, he's got high medium work rates, a 4 star weak foot and 4 star skills. Looking at his in games, he stands out to his 99 head and accuracy, 97 strength, 97 shot power, 93 finishing and 92 attack positioning. So that rounds off the Venezuela team and now on to our gameplay, starting in net with Danny Hernandez. Now he does have great height at 6 foot 5 for a keeper and he's your best option between the sticks for a Venezuelan team. Now he did pull off a fair few decent saves for us but... He really probably would benefit from putting a cat chem card on him just to boost his speed and reflexes up a bit though which were a bit below par. Now into our defence, now Venezuela obviously is lacking a left back so we were forced to play Perazzo there at left back. He still gets 7 chem and he did do a pretty solid job covering at left back, did make some great challenges at the left. Not so great getting forward but is really a centre back so decent at the back, does have decent physical stats as well. At right back we have Inform Rosales who was great at getting forward with his pace and did grab a couple of assists for us bombing down that right wing. He's decent defensively as well and he does have great stamina as well. He's got 90 stamina so he's got no problem getting up and down that pitch without getting too knackered. Great little Inform right back. Into our centre backs and in the Venezuelan team they're not blessed with a lot of pace unfortunately at the back. And this defence is not for the faint at heart, especially with Vizcarondo and Amori Bieta. The pace is in the low 30s, but they're not actually that bad once you get used to using them. They are pretty solid and both have great strength as well, so our rocks at the back. Now, obviously, if you press too high with your centre-backs, you will get caught out with your pace. If you're pushing them too high, 
don't contain too much with your centre backs. They don't pull them out of position else. You will get caught out of defence. And if you can learn to defend with these two, it will improve your overall defensive game. It'll be a lot easier when you go back to your more pacier centre back. Into our midfield, first up we have Thomas Rincon. Now he is the most defensive midfielder with his medium high work rates and his decent defensive stats as well. Did also manage a goal from a header as well, so did make use of his 91 jumping by getting up and nodding a header in. That was his only finish. His centre met partner is Signorelli. Now, where is a toss up between Signorelli and Alvarez? We did give him uh, both equal amounts of playing time to uh, give him a try. We just stuck with Signorelli as he is more defensive to put him in the starting lineup. But as we said, we did give Alvarez an equal amount of game time. And Alvarez did actually turn out to be the better of the two. Actually got a couple of goals as well. Alvarez was better going forward attacking wise. And rounding off midfield at Cam is in for Morango. Now we did do a review on Morango if you want a more in-depth review. Uh, view of him but he is so much better in the middle than out on that left wing his pace isn't much of a hindrance in the middle and you can make use of his cracking long shots and his great passing in the middle of the pitch he is the one who runs the midfield in the middle and he's got a cracking free kick on him as well so one to put on all your set pieces and corners so now into our forwards at left wing we have Martinez does have great pace and decent dribbling out there on the left wing especially for a low rated silver winger is right footed as well, so has a great combination, so he can foot cut on on his right, but his shooting isn't the greatest. He can get the odd goal, but don't really be trying too many attempts with Martinez. Is really best as used as a player, just for exploiting that space on the wing with his pace getting forward. Now, on the right wing, we have Info Mario Rondon, who we also did another review on if you want a more in-depth look. Has got a decent pace, and he's got a great shot for a silver winger as well. Good on the dribble as well, feels good on the ball and he was always pushing forward with his high low work rates and he can be picked up for around 7k which to me is a bargain price for such a good winger in my opinion. And rounding off the team is the star man of the team, second in form Solomon Rondon who does make an amazing striker in FIFA, he's got great pace, awesome strength. 4 star weak foot, 4 star skills as well and he's so clinical in front of goal, he does have 93 finishing, very rarely missed a, a chance, if he gets a clear cut chance there's 9 out of 10 times he's going to be finishing it and he is great in here as well with his 99 heading accuracy, one of my favourite strikers in FIFA 15, also we do have a review on him as well if you want a more in depth look at uh, him second in form Rondon. So he's so, so good up top. Highly recommended. Must try player. You've got to try second in form Rondon in your FIFA 15 career. He's such a good striker up top. So this Venezuela team is actually a very good team to try out. And with the lack of pace in defence, especially in the centre-backs, I think it will actually help you to become a better player. Trust me, this is how I learn. This is how I teach myself to play better. I always use the slower players. It will give you a better understanding of the game. And when you go back to pacey players, it'll seem so much easier. So if you're struggling, I know it sounds daft, but try slower players. You will learn to improve your positioning wise, especially positioning wise. And you will turn out to be an all around better player. And it has some great informs and cheap informs as well. Got some cracking little informs with Rosales, uh, Mario Rondon, Arango, and of course, second inform Rondon as well. So we like to show you as much info as we can in our squad builders. So we've got some squad statistics now. So in 10 games, we won 7, lost 3. Total goal scored was 32. We conceded 11. Top scorer was Solomon Rondon. Most assists was Juan Arango. Starman was Solomon Rondon as well. We've also got the average stats of all the players on the right hand side there if you look at as well. So we're just going to leave you now with a squad rundown of all the appearances of players, goals etc. So you can see how everyone was performing in the team. So this is on screen for you now. So hopefully you did enjoy this squad builder. If you did, please leave a like. It does help out a lot. We try to do the most in-depth reviews and squad builders as we can. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Loads more to check out. Loads more videos to come as well. So stay tuned for them. Thanks a lot for watching, lads. I do appreciate it. Cheers, lads. See you later.